everybody. Welcome to Shattered Bonds, a D&D adventure. <laughs> uh, I'm your host, uh, the intrepid DM, Roy, and uh, we are going to play some Dungeons and Dragons. And uh, I have my side thing turned up. <laughs> okay. Um, getting some echo. All right. Well, let's go to the screen real quick. If I can get my tab closed so you guys can't see that. <laughs> uh, still getting used to streaming. So that's a, a plus. Um, to the... Is it technically my left? It's my left <laughs> because of the screen. Uh, we have our intrepid adventurers, Mortithus Bryn. We have Voxus Farad, Brick, and Cloaky. Uh, the last time we left off, uh, tensions were rising. We, <laughs> as a party, made some decisions to exclude party members from valuable information and then we trekked into the underdark for a mission only known to a few upon making their way through the underdark they uh they didn't come across anything at first but as they delved deeper they suddenly found themselves in the lair of trolls at the behest of the Swerf Neblin, our intrepid adventurers had promised to wipe out a group of trolls that had been very hostile, we'll say, to the rest of the group. So, they made their way down, they entered the caverns, and they confronted two trolls. These trolls were of the Top Knot clan. A clan of trolls who scalp themselves. And then consistently stretch the skin over the top of their heads to regenerate. Causing a very calloused portion and hard heads of which they used a headbutt. Where we leave off. The troll has ju The last troll had just fallen. In this hallway. And we are left with a very angry mage. And a group that may have to explain themselves. But is it a good time with danger looming deeper within? As guttural sounds could be heard in a distance. So... Guys and gals, where and uh, what would you like to do? I was gonna, I was gonna say. Remember when we la the last thing that was said was from my character saying, "I love diplomacy." <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and cheers to anyone in uh, chat right now. Thank you for stopping by. I should also point out that Morty is fuming. He is so angry at the moment. <laughs> so, he's probably not going to be talking for just a bit. So, what you have on the map is currently what you can see as a group. Just heard trolls from farther down the, uh, the tunnels, correct? You believe you heard guttural sounds that sounded giant in nature. Very, very similar to the giant speech that you had heard these two trolls that are now burnt husks on the ground. Uh, gibbering. Uh, you spoke giant, correct, Cloaky? 
Yes, they had basically called you meat and said that you had basically stumbled into, or Prey had stumbled upon their home. And then they attacked. That sounds about right. So. I think, I think we need to find a better um, vantage point, friends. Uh, if, I think I need to take a rest, friend. <laughs> oh, why would you need a rest? Why would you? Why would anybody need a rest? What? what? Some awful diplomacy. What, you, th you, 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 th you think it, this isn't a safe location? You think anything's like you know, like th th this isn't this isn't just like the perfect place to to to, to enter diplomatic negotiations? I think we're on the underdark, and that you can't ever assume that you're safe. Morty. <laughs> I think you're a little bit angry. Oh, you think that? You I think I, that. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't read faces very well. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Well, well, let me make this very clear to you. <laughs> this? <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit angry. Oh, why are you angry? Oh, I don't know. How about uh, wh I, why, why don't you why don't you why don't you take a little bit of time and just you know think about it? I, I don't think That'd Morty understood idea. diplomatic mission. It doesn't seem like he does. Oh no no no! I understand diplomatic mission. I understand what a diplomatic mission is. A diplomatic mission means that you attend and try uh, uh, attend a meeting to where you try to garner a peace between two rivaling uh, uh, rival uh, rival. Uh, to opposing parties. That's what a diplomatic mission is. Th that's th they're expecting to have a peaceful transition of communication. Not entering a dungeon. I think that you, you know, misunderstood you know, something. You know, where this, we are going to where we could potentially be torn limb from limb simply this is because the underdark, we are here. This is definitely the underdark. I think you've misunderstood something. No, no mission is safe in the Underdark. A diplomatic one is. It's by nature not, because it's Friends. the Underdark. This, oh, no, this, no. Is, dip, the this is diplomatic mission. After said diplomatic, after, after, you know, the conversation ends, could potentially be dangerous. But the course of getting to that point should not be dangerous. You know, I think that you're misunderstanding that it is the Underdark and that the course of getting there is the dangerous part. Morty, um... Your anger is so, not unfounded. So, uh, who are we going to talk to? Uh, we should probably get one. moving, though. Uh, your anger is not unfounded. Who Morty, are we going to talk to? The Swerf Brick Neblin! Point. Brick, okay. Brick point down. More of them. <laughs> the dead trolls. Now, the question I have, are we going there to talk with them? Yeah, when we get in, back. In a manner of what do you mean by a manner of speaking? I will let my hammer do the talking. Ah, got it, got it. I, so, I don't know why anything is being described in the way it's being described. You're making it sound so much worse than it is. Also, there's a troll hanging out down in the corner, just in case anyone was curious. Uh, yeah, so as you guys are arguing, Sorry. you did not notice that troll. Oh, okay. Uh, as, <laughs> as they are slowly sneaking up and a rock is thrown... The only one with a high enough passive perception that spotted them. Uh, Morty, yours is 16, correct? Or is uh, it 14. 14? 17 is Voxus. Brick is 10. Cloaky, what was yours? 15. 15. Okay. So, yes. You and Voxus catch out of the corner of your eye just as it lobs a javelin down the hallway. A troll approaching, and it is doing so rather stealthfully. Um, so stealthfully for a troll that just lobbed a javelin. Stealthfully for a troll. <laughs> okay, which probably is extremely stealthy. <laughs> so uh, he, he could have rogue levels. Oh no! Sneak it to. Um. Who who's up front? It's Morty and Cloaky. Uh, Cloaky would not be at 
advantage, Morty would be at advantage, we will high-low to see who he had thrown at. Um, so high is Cloaky, low is Morty. Okay. So a... Sixteen to hit. Oh, well then. Um, you said I would have advantage, right? No, no, no. It would have advantage on you if it caught you oh. by surprise. Oh. So, yeah, a, a sixteen. A sixteen, that is my AC. Okay. So, you are caught by surprise. And this... Uh, I'm sorry, it's just great. The one person pissed off about the combat gets the javel out of nowhere. Oof. Uh, yeah, so you are turned, and you are basically screaming at Brick at this point. And Brick and Cloaky, as you take a large javelin right to the side as it goes through your cloak and just barely buries itself into your rib cage. You're pretty sure it has not struck anything vital, but you take a whopping 15 points of damage. And I need Excuse a... Me. It, it's me. I'm vital. <laughs> so I need initiatives. He felt that. <laughs> that plus yeah, that four is. gave him a five. He felt that. Well, you rolled a 19... What? It, it, you no, double it, it, Oh, it did it twice. Okay, never mind. I rolled a 19. Oh, yeah, he's... he's. <laughs> okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. The 5 would have definitely been thematic, but I'm glad you got the 19. <laughs> so, Morty is 19. Brick is 15. Um, Guys, good job. The troll... Oh, I gotta roll one more. Why do you gotta roll one more? Because they have separate initiatives. Oh no. And the other one's out of range to throw. <laughs> um so let's see, Voxus is a twenty-three and Selecha is a thirteen. Okay. We'll sort this to descending. So, first up, as soon as that hits, your sense of danger kicks in, and you spring into action as Voxus, just for a moment, it's like the haze of all that's going on fades away in an instant, and you immediately realize the danger. Um, I think you can see them. Yes, can you can ju it. you can see them in the shadowy illumination. Morty, you took that hit like a champ. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. Morty ain't happy. Morty has a spear in him. Morty ain't <laughs> happy. Okay. Um. Did you update the turn order? Because I didn't see anything on there yet. Yes. So you're at the top at twenty three. Okay. Because my my turn order still has last type of thing, so. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, you're first up. I'll just go through them if it's showing differently for you guys. It shows correctly on my screen, at least. <clears throat> um, I'll move there. Move up one more so I'm not at disadvantage. Okay. I know you guys can see really well what's going on, but from my screen, I just see darkness. Um, <laughs> this is terrible. Okay. Um, so I am going to use. Oop, oop, oop. I don't really know much about these guys besides. Slashing bad and fire good. Uh, 
I don't know what lightning does, so uh, I'm going to use my uh, rolling thunder uh, ability here. See if I can get this to cast right in the uh, roll, or roll 20 here. So... I gotta get so this screen draw back. Something here first. Okay, there we go. I accidentally hit a button and it went all haywire, but we're good. So you are now within range, and you're so gonna I fire. I should be able to hit. I should be able to hit the the two that I can see if I throw my javelin using or throw it using the um, rolling thunder profile, the, the once per day thing. See if it'll actually. Hey, it shows it in there. Oh, um. Oh. So hurl it. Speak the command word. Um. Uh, so target. Each target must make a DC 15 Dex saving throw, taking 46 lightning damage on a failed and half on a successful. Okay. So I rolled really low for that 46, but. Now, did you roll the the attack as well? Because Not yet. Okay. I have to, I have to do it separately. So, but it's. Let's see if that'll. Uh, oh, that we'll just that just rolls the same thing again, doesn't it? I'll just yeah. manually roll it here. One sec. Okay. And are you you're hitting both of them? Correct. It would hit both. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you're targeting the first one with the attack, though. The second one. Okay. So. Um, Troll B got a 15 on the save. The first one failed it. If that rolled right. Yep. 1d20 plus 8. So 18 for the hit. Okay. So the one that, the second one that got hit would, I think he takes. Let's see, he takes, um, I don't know, the wording is weird because it, it was a, a modified javelin, so it takes the dam, it takes the lightning, it, either way it's lightning damage. It's just the one that, it's just the one that gets hit takes the full damage and everything else, I guess, takes a, takes to make a deck saving throw. Yep. So it took how much damage? So the full lightning damage was 10. 10. And how much damage did the Chakram do? Um, I guess the way you worded it, it wasn't, it didn't do the Chakram damage. Okay. You still hit with the Chakram. It's anything yeah, and that, and in the line. That's why it took the full, and that's why it took the full lightning damage instead of making a dex save, I thought. No, you do the damage it for, of the Chakram as has, well. It just says on a hit, the target takes damage, um, so... But yeah, I'll, I'll uh, roll the damage. Here. I might have worded it weird. That is my bad. So, there you go. So, 19 points to troll. Or, yeah. 19 points to the second troll. Only five points to the first troll. Ah, no. Okay. I know what it's at. Okay, that's it for my turn. Okay. So, next up is Morty. Morty. Uh, hey, Roy. Yes. I, I have a question because because the, 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 the precursor to this combat happened really fast. Um, would Brick have been able to use his arrow catching shield to catch that javelin? Or no, because you did not. You were surprised. Thus, okay, you wouldn't have been able to take a reaction. That's what I was kind of wondering. Okay, thank you. Carry on. So first things first, Morty is immediately going to begin Blade Song. Okay. Um, now, mind you, he's still got that spear in him. He's not happy. 
Um, but he's really pissed off. I mean, he can see the the troll at the end of the hallway just barely. Um, and again, with him being very, very unhappy, he's just going to glare at it and just be like, I was talking, and immediately cast Fireball at it. <laughs> okay. Love it. <laughs> wow. New personality trait. Mori does not like Holy shit. That is some heavy, heavy damage. Okay. One, and then everything else, pretty much everything else was a four and above. Oh my god. Uh, so real quick, dexterity saving throws. Uh, nice. we figured out how to unlock Morty's <laughs> hidden hidden power. <laughs> Morty really As we have really two failures. <laughs> two so, failures, so, so thirty-three damage to each of them. As uh, they immediately start shrieking, as that flesh burns, you know, I hate to suggest it, but we might need to piss off Morty a little more often. <laughs> um, I have to check on that second troll, that might have dropped him. Oh, no, no, it, no, it did not. <laughs> Don't get my hopes up like that. Okay. So. Oh By the way, Morty is in quite a bit of pain. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I'm on so, 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 that's where he's ending his turn. Okay. So, bonus action was the Blade Song to increase the armor class. Yep. Um... And then, let me see, I'm clicking on things by accident on my screen, I'm sorry guys. Alright, so, uh, with that, it is then Brick's turn, as Brick, uh, your momentary surprise has worn off at this point, as, uh, as Voxus rushes by you and throws his chakram that explodes into lightning, a streak of lightning down the hallway as it uh, strikes the furthest troll. And then Morty, in a rush of rage, you know, I was talking, lobs a bead of fire down the hallway. Uh, you've only seen him use the spell once before, but this one seemed as if the spell was affected by his anger as it engulfed the trolls in a cacophony of shrieks and screams from them. You being the one that took the mission, knowing that trolls are hindered by fire. Know that that, that was actually a really good move. <laughs> so it is your go. Okay. So brick as a free er, bricks, just going to kind of drop his, the, his hammer. So like head down. So just sitting there. Mm -hmm. I is like a free action the javelin out of Morty? Um, yeah. You could. Yeah. All right. Do you want to use a medicine, or do you, are you just yanking it out? Well, I'm, so I'm going to yank it out, and then I'm immediately going to put oh, my geez. hands on it and, <laughs> and lay on hands. Yank and lay. Okay. Yeah, yank and lay on hands. <laughs> Let's keep this PG. Hey, Don't hey now. <laughs> okay. Um... um you can, how much are you laying on hands? I'm going to pour in 30 points of lay on hands. Okay. When you yank that out, I want you to roll a D4 and subtract it from what you are healing. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Okay. As you are not gentle in the least, and you can tell that that javelin went in pretty deep. Yeah. Oh, only one. Okay, so. Sweet. It was a needle. It was a pinprick. Crap, 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 crap. Uh, uh, sorry, computer went crazy. Oh god. Uh, but yeah, Morty, you get uh, twenty nine instead of thirty. I appreciate it. Well, at least it wasn't uh, a barb tip. Okay. Yeah, no joke. Uh, well, that's more, Brick was just kind of like. Hopefully this works. Uh, <laughs> so do I still burn? Do I still burn thirty points? Yes. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure for my cap. Um, okay. Basically, you're healing the 30-ish. 
the best way I can describe it is you're trying to do it at the same time. So. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, so would you say drop the hammer, pull out the javelin, heal, and would Brick be able to pick up the hammer again, or is that that? Is that uh, I. Much? I would say it'd be your full turn with your free item interaction. Could I? You would still have a bonus myself, action. Can I maneuver myself just five feet to be in front of Mort? Yes, I will give you that. As you're pulling it out, you would shift your shift yourself with him. Okay, and then yeah, Brick's gonna pick up the hammer, turn turn towards the sounds that he's hearing as he saw that brief flash of fire, put up the shield, get ready for whatever's coming. Okay. Um, That'll be it for me. After that, it is Cloaky. Man, it's weird having uh, Cloaky go last. Yeah. It is. I'm usually last. I guess I'm going to try and punch this. This feels bad. <laughs> okay. So oh you. God, Cloaky's gone! You rush down the hall to the ogre, which stands roughly nine and a half, ten feet tall. And at this point, as you get close, you can definitely see more uh, detail on the troll. And it's the same thing as before. It's not green skinned like you've seen on the surface. These are mottled gray skin with patches of almost fur or greasy hair. And the fireball, you can actually see blotches of burned skin all over these things currently. Um, but they are uh, different in the aspect that they are wearing somewhat clothing. But same as the last two, you can see that their skin has been stretched up into a top knot. It's not hair, it is scalped skin that they have continually stretched. Okay. Um, for the sake of Morty, I will be diplomatic and say I don't want to kill you and then punch him in the face. Okay. Go ahead and roll your attacks. Okay, uh, 12 will miss. Seven will miss. Well, this is some brick rolling. I mean, at least she was honest about not wanting to hurt her, not wanting I to did, kill her. I did say it. I, did say it. <laughs> I said it in giant, by the way, in case that was unclear. Okay. My bonus action, I'll try one more time. Okay. I'm not sure if that's going to work, but in case you still have a second turn. 23 will hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Also, I don't appreciate the brick rolling comment. I really don't. <laughs> so five points to that one. All right. Is there anything else you would like to do? You moved, you attacked, and you bonus actioned. That's going to be it. I'm going to go ahead and take a bunch of punches to the face. Okay. So it is then Troll A, the one currently in front of you. As you said, uh, I really don't want to hurt you. It stops, like, padding all over itself to try and put out the fire. As it just snarls at you, and in a guttural giant, it, I'm gonna tear your legs off. As it, anyway, <laughs> as it reaches up and takes um, two swipes with its claws, and then it's gonna try and bite you. So we will roll the bite and then the two claws. One, two, three. Um, so I hit a 24 and a 25 on the bite and one claw. 
the last claw, uh, you manage to turn out, turn out of the way just in time so that it doesn't hurt you. And you take a total of 15 damage from the claw and the bite. Sounds good. Um, I only have so many spell slots. <laughs> I don't know why you would be concerned about healing me. I am fine. Uh, that is its go. The troll behind it will... Um, what is, is their reach? Okay. Uh, will lob a javelin uh we'll lob two javelins down the hall at the closest target which would be voxus out of range uh and since you're the one that did uh the two the lightning damage he is definitely returning trying to return the favor as both javelins yeah as both javelins wobble down the hall as you can tell they are very crude in make as they uh zoom right past and even over the heads of brick and morty in the back these trolls definitely do not look like pickles by the way but this brick <laughs> Pickle brick. It was. Uh, okay, so I that is. How that was an accident too, and wasn't on purpose. <laughs> uh, especially <laughs> since you both joined the games. So much better. As uh, since you both joined the game at different times, it, it does make it a hundred percent coincidental. Um, so it is back up to Voxus at this point. Okay, um, does, uh, Koki look bloodied at all? Nah. Okay. Okay. Uh, just for the player, just for the players out there, so if you hear, hear the, uh, or just for the followers out in the chat, if you hear the players saying bloodied or near death, they are not allowed to tell hit points to each other. Uh, if they do, there is a bad thing that happens. But they are allowed to say bloodied for half hit points, near death if they're below 10%. Just uh, just throwing it out there so you're not confused by terms. So, okay. Go ahead, Voxes. I'm going to move up here. And I'm going to cast that on Floki. Okay. So, uh, Are you enlarging or reducing? Enlarging. So okay. she's getting an extra 1d4 to her attacks. Okay. And, and she... she's bigger. Hold up. She's technically large now. <laughs> so Cloaky now takes up the hallway. How, how tall is Cloaky normally? Also, if there's not enough room for her to grow, she just stays the same size. Or, you no, know, there. She can't fit in the size. She doesn't. This this is the layer of large creatures. It is definitely big enough for her I, to I'm grow. Just, I'm just I'm just saying, if it was if she couldn't grow tall enough, she would just stop <laughs> when she hits the ceiling, essentially. Oh, okay. So yes, she uh, doubles in size. So if and she, she was oh, and advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws as well. Sounds good. In answer to your question. She's usually 5'2", and I use dex as my attack, so this didn't actually help. Mm -hmm. You get a 1d4 extra damage. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't It does lower your dex or anything. anything. You just have advantage on strength checks. I'm actually damage. attacking. Oh, yeah. Which is the thing I'm struggling with. <laughs> it, 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 the spell never makes your strength better. Okay. Well, I guess saving throws and checks, but checks is like if, you know, you were pushing something. So, mm -hmm. uh... Fun fact, Cloakie's currently 10 foot 4. <laughs> yep. She is now taller than the troll as it, uh, instead of, you know, looking down, it just slowly raises its gaze as you are now roughly a f half a foot taller than it. Um, so it is then Morty's turn, unless, Vox, you have anything else you would like to do. Nope. Okay. 
Morty. Yeah, Morty's still mad. <laughs> um, so, Morty. Uh, these things are burning, but I'm assuming the flame is, like, no longer really doing anything to it. No, it, it, their skin burned, and mm -hmm. just like a fireball, it's a flat, uh, flash fire, and then it's out. Um, you do notice that their skin is not healing like nor like trolls normally would from any other sword or mace hit. Okay. Well, Morty is gonna stomp forward right now. Okay. He's he's again he's not happy. He's going right up here. Okay. He's still very, very angry. Yep. And he's going to drop a flaming spear right about here. Okay. Let me... Toasty buns. I know I've dropped it out there before. He's about to use the bonus, his bonus action... To slam it, to slam it into this guy. Okay. Let me. Okay. Let me give control of this to you real quick. Okie dokie. It's been a while since you've gotten to see the flaming spear on a paddle map too. Yeah, we made it last time. Okay. So, go ahead. You should be able to move that around now. Just double checking. Yeah, there um, we go. He's going to slam it right into there. And the closer you guys get down the halls, you can see that the halls are starting to branch now that you're further down. I deal nine damage to that ogre. To the troll? Or to the troll, yeah, to this dude. Okay, does he get a save against it? Um, as a bonus action, you can move the sphere up to 30 feet. If you ram the sphere into the creature, that creature must make a saving throw against the sphere's damage. So yeah, he gets a saving throw. It's dex. Uh, he fails dex it, of... so he takes nine. Okay. okay. Yeah, Morty is uh, kind of uh, fuming at the moment. Okay. Uh, so, and then it's if they start their turn next to it, they take damage, or what is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or uh, I'm sorry, if they end their turn. Yeah, if they, if they, uh, if a creature ends its turn within five feet of the sphere, it must hit, make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. <laughs> Literally fuming. Yep. I, I I use the term for or the the term for a reason. Yep. Got to make that pun. <laughs> so next up is brick. All right. Brick, so, you do notice that Morty is acting extremely out of character, being a, a coward most of the time. He is very head-on at this point. It's kind of concerning. Kind of, Brick just kind of mutters to himself, he's like, sure, that, that does it. Uh, okay, now will I be able to squeeze in right about here? It's a it, it's it's a hallway for giants. Why don't why don't right you just jump here. over people? Yes, you can fit okay. in right there. Because Brick's not gonna be able to squeeze past both of you right now. So uh, um, no, you you could. She's large enough and moving around that you would still be able to move well, around. It's thirty. It's thirty feet to get right there, anyways. Mm hmm. And so I don't think I'd even be able to get within swinging distance on this turn. So instead, uh, Brick's gonna. Uh, with his hammer hand, just reach out and touch Cloaky, the back of Cloaky's, like, thigh, I guess, with his knuckles and cast Cure Wounds at second level. Okay. Thanks, my dude. Of course. Alright. So let me do this real quick. 15 hit 15 points? Oh, that's convenient. Yeah. Where am I? That's what I'm talking about. Rick's doing some work. All right. Uh, any yeah. any bonus action for anything, Brick? I I don't think I think all my bonus actions are spells. Okay. Um, 
Let me just check real quick, though, just to make sure I don't waste anything. Yep, that'll be it for Brick. Okay, it is then Cloaky. Uh, with your new growth, you thought growth spurts were done for your lifetime, but apparently not. I guess not. I guess I'm going to do some punching. Again. Okay. That is a hit. That's a whacking. Yep, and don't forget each attack gets an extra d4 of damage. Yep, that's a hit. I'm just going to roll damage separately because that's going to be annoying. Okay. And then on either of these hits, are you wanting to uh, add poison to it or any of your other monk abilities? If I had any key points, maybe that would be relevant, but I don't. Okay, because yeah. you haven't had a chance to short rest yet. Okay. Hey, thank you, uh, Sitha Skittles. I appreciate the follow. Okay, so um, you deal four and eight. Both of those are plus two, so it's six and ten. Six and ten. Yeah. Okay. So, minus 16. All right. It is bloodied. It was actually bloodied from the flaming sphere last turn. I forgot to mention it. That is my bad. Um, you only made two attacks. Did you want to use your bonus action for anything? I might as well attack again. I'm not doing anything. Okay. That would hit. All right. Eight more. notes was with uh with that blow as you do a flurry of quick hits you uh you start in the chest and work your way down before bringing your fist up underneath its jaw and you can feel the dishingement and uh you suddenly hear a gurgling noise as you're pretty sure it bit off its own tongue from that hit as it slumps to the ground, twitching for a moment, and stops moving. As you have dealt fire damage to it, it does not regenerate. Thanks, Morty. So, that one is gone. Alright, so next up would be Troll A, who twitches on the ground for a moment before stopping. Next is Troll B... Um, who seeing the fire is it starts its turn that it takes, uh, takes the damage or ends at, at the end of its turn. Okay. So at seeing the fire will, oh, sorry. We'll back up to here and in its guttural language yells, As it chucks, or no, it only had three javelins, uh, it will proceed to move further down, which I believe is just out of sight of the party. Oh, Morty's going to be screaming at it, calling it a coward. Granted, he's doing what it in it? common, but... Uh, it was just yelling intruders, uh... It says, how would, how would it phrase this? The small ones are attacking, it says in its guttural language. Who the hell? You are you got killed by someone who knows you. I'll let it know that it's afraid of you guys. 
I'll okay. let you guys know the difference. So we, we are still on initiative. Um, so that was its entirety of the turn was moving and double moving. So it is then Voxus. Uh, and uh, it, it's six seconds per turn, right? Yes. Okay, just making sure since this reduce enlarge it lasts for a minute. So. Mm -hmm. And we are. This would currently be the start of the third turn. Um. Well, second turn after I cast it, but yeah. Well, yeah, because yours is on. I'm just telling you, the total turn count right now is third. You'll have to keep track of the uh, balance of your remaining turns. Okay, I move there. Uh, <clears throat> I can slightly see a shape uh, down this hallway right here for those who can't uh, see. But um, I am going to... really don't want to attack it because slashing damage and I found out last time that's a bad thing. Oh, I know. Centered right on him. Fairy fire. I love this so much. Okay. He's gonna glow. <laughs> well, unless he makes a save. But... Hey, quit the build. Thank you very much for the follow. Okay. So, Fairy Fire, deck save DC 14. And I'm choosing uh, green. As green flames erupt, uh, it fails, which means it is illuminated. Uh, let's... Yeah, he's a green boy now. Green dot on him. I don't know if there's any other... Okay, yeah, green fire. There we go. So, uh, 10 foot, uh, dim light on him. Hey, Barry. How's and it going? everything has advantage on him. Um. Yep. Yep, and that's my turn. Okay. Next up would be Brick. I thought Morty was after uh, Voxus. Oh, yeah. No, I think it's Morty first. Oh, sorry. I had my turn order zoom down a little bit. You're right. It is Morty. Okay. No worries. Um, so Morty absolutely cannot see any type of dim lighting on the on the dude unless he's way the hell away. Um, so Morty, again, the, uh, he's really, really bad. Morty's moving up to the front lines. Uh, let's give him an aura. Ten feet, shape, circle. Oh, does Morty have 40 feet of movement now because of Blade Song? Oh, you know what? He does. I've only been using the 30. Whoopsie. I could have been doing more. <laughs> I mean... The fireball did what it was supposed to. <laughs> Morty's also going to move the... Uh... Oh, wait, I have to use a bonus action to do that. Crap. Eh, it's fine. He's going to use his bonus action to move the uh, okay. fireball there. right there. Mm -hmm. Right there, because that's as close as he can get. Okay. Or the flaming sphere, that's the wordage. He can talk. Anyway, um, yeah, Morty is still very, very, very angry. So, as his action, he's going to, uh, because he doesn't really want this troll getting away, he's going to use Ray of Frost, just to slow okay. it down a little bit. Okay. Go ahead and roll your attack. Uh, so, 20 is definitely going to hit. Um, for seven damage. Yeah. But he loses ten feet of speed. Okay. 
Well, he oh, double it there, so wouldn't the first one be a 19 the... 10 damage? Yeah, oh. we would oh, go shit. with the 10 know. damage. Because you have advantage on it, so... Oh, okay. Yay! So, that's <laughs> fine. I, it was more to slow it down. This just happens to be a little bonus. So, yeah. Okay. Um, so, real quick, for those in chat, if you um, are just catching up, the group had been set on a... Uh, sent to destroy some trolls who had been accosting the Swerf Neblin uh, that they had made peace with. So the party knew Morty, being uh, a coward, would obviously run away from most fights, uh, decided to tell Morty that this was a diplomatic mission and that there would be no fighting, uh, thus tricking him into following the party into the troll's lair. Um... <laughs> and they are still trying to convince him that this is a misunderstanding at this point, and it is uh, totally still a diplomatic mission. They just so, are in combat I just now. Wanna add in, I just want to add in that after the party lied to Morty, he was struck with a javelin. Yes. Morty is very, very, very <laughs> angry. He has never been angry like this in the game so far. <laughs> Betrayal. If see in the dark, you wouldn't have gotten hit in the first place. <laughs> However. Cheers, everyone. Okay. So, Morty, is that the end of your turn? Yeah, because that's everything that he can do. Okay. Uh, next up is Brick. can move at some point i will put nameplates below each of you so everyone knows who what you are <laughs> what is it, DC? Quick measurements here. Uh, while he's doing measurements brick here is our warforged paladin mortithus is our high elven blade singer wizard uh cloaky is our asmr monk and Voxus is our half drow bard. Well, Mark of the Storm half elf, to be precise, but yeah. Yes. Uh, so, Roy, I have, a, I, have a, I have a question for you. Uh, so, could I, could I use a javelin? Or could I use Siri Smite and throw a javelin? Would, that still, would I still be able to do that extra fire damage? Does it say melee attack? It says melee weapon attack, and technically a javelin's a melee weapon. I, I would say it would have to actually be connected to your hand to channel the the divine energy okay. for it. Fair, 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 fair. Okay, well, uh, Brick's just going to huck two javelins at this dude. Okay. Because he can't run fast enough to actually do anything. So, um, I will just roll those real quick. And I am at, these are advantage, right? Yes, because he is currently illuminated. Okay, 18. So that'll be... Uh, 8 points of piercing damage. And then I'll throw a murder. Um, I have got to switch to Claire real quick to move something. Because I realize that it is... Um, yeah. One off of a crit. I know, I saw that. I'm like, it's gotta be pretty close to that. Well, that's 18 points of damage. There's nothing to scoff at. Yep. I like that you can hover over it. It'll actually tell you the calculation. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that. And that's why I'm gonna be a champion fighter. <laughs> I know, it's nice to crit on 19s. <laughs> uh, I think I need. It because honestly, like, I don't know. I feel like I roll a lot of 19 specifically. Nah, I'm fine. All right, yeah. Uh, so Brick kind of stands shoulder to shoulder with, shoulder with Morty now. Uh, and just got kind of the little sheath he carries on his back, or the little uh, quiver he carries on his back for his javelin. Okay. For some Thanks. reason, this is being weird it's not letting me 
It's not letting me that... remove an area. So down here, there's actually, I'm supposed to be able to move this, but for some reason it's not letting me do it, and I am sorry for that. Um, you guys are actually able to see from view, there are a few more trolls down here. Um, oh, that's, that's good. That's, that's um, nice. I can't see it from where I'm at. On who, the players or... Me, Barry. Uh, supposedly the volume is a little low, uh, so we are gonna fix that real quick. Crank that volume. Crank that funky music, Michael. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will go into settings here cloaky is up as much as I can turn her up everyone else I can raise their volumes just a little bit left okay uh, everyone do a sound check real quick start with v Voxus hello Brick Well, now I'm not getting anything from him. You didn't say anything if you had your key off. I'm looking. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, Morty. And then Cloaky. Already tested mine by saying that I couldn't hear his. Yep. And Cloaky. Yep. Okay. Any better, guys? All right, well, in the meantime, Brick, you threw two javelins, two hits for 18. Um, as your two javelins hit its back, it does crumple as it slumps to the floor. Um, if I could figure out how to... target this edge here I could get rid of this uh... it's all good it's all good Give me one second, guys. I'm terribly, terribly sorry about this. Roll 20 can be extremely fickle sometimes. It's also probably to do with my mouse. All right, so can you see past that little piece there? Sure can. Okay. We're just going to say there's a rock there. <laughs> All right. So I uh, rocks. for those of you wondering in game, I have uh, dynamic lighting going. It lets the party, you know, see corners and all that kind of stuff. Makes it feel more like a dungeon crawl. Okay, so that troll crumpled under the blow. Uh, it is then uh, Cloaky's turn. Okay, um, I guess I'm going to move up and see what actually I can see. Because I have no idea what's going on right now. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I still can't see anything. See, everything looks fine. Is there any problems, guys? Okay. Uh, Rules that way. So, looking into that room. Um, this, uh, this cavern is thick with green guild, uh, fungus on the walls. Um, you see a variety of baskets in here too, that, uh, you see some of the, the fungus has been scraped off the wall and placed into these baskets. Uh, and when I say it's it's almost the entire cavern in here is covered in this this fungus. Interesting. So I will let the party know that they're collecting fungus. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to do? Because you only moved a little bit. Uh, I could try moving. And then uh, in the far room, you can't see it yet, but you catch a, everyone kind of catches a stench coming from the, the room with the four on it. That's nice. My problem is that I can't actually pass through here without catching on fire, so I'm going to just hang out. Let them explore. Okay. Um, so, it would then be Troll A, who is dead. I should take him off. Um, at this point, I have to roll some more initiatives real quick. Okay. Uh, let me add those to the turn list. All right. So we add those in. Uh, one is a 19. One is a 13. One is a 16. Yeah, it's weird because uh, I see trolls, troll B, brick, troll C, D, and E, but no one else. <laughs> okay. Same here. So, uh, if we go off list, uh, troll... Where did troll B go? Okay, troll B at the bottom of the niche... Since Troll A is dead, Troll B heals 10 hit points. Damn. And will spend half of his movement to get up. Um, yells something again and then will charge towards Brick. Um, he is going to try and force his way past you, Brick. So I need a opposed athletics check checks with him being larger. He is going to have advantage as he is just trying to get by you uh, to get away from the fire. So 21 is a good roll. Uh, yeah, I hope it's good enough. Um, you get a tie actually. Which, Ty goes to Defender, so as he comes running up, you put your shield up and you brace yourself as you he slams into you, and you don't even budge an inch. Not today, troll. Does that end his movement? <laughs> it does end his movement right there. And that is actually his turn, so go ahead and... Uh, does he, he make... make a dexterity. Yep. He makes a saving throw. Uh, dex 14. Ooh, he got a 19, so I think he takes awesome. half damage. so he only takes half damage. Yes. So he will take four. Oh, he's, he's right damage. there. 
Okay, so he plus 10, and then minus 4. Okay. As uh, the fire spreads amongst his skin, searing his wounds open, and he starts shrieking as it happens. Uh, it is then to the top of the niche, which would be... Voxus. For some reason it put you all the way down at the bottom. Okay. Uh, well, I know he screamed at some something or someone or something, uh, but I do not see any other trolls from here. Um... Voxus. Get him. Uh, uh, let's see. Troll BQ? Yes. God, I don't have anything attack oriented that isn't slashing damage right now. Uh, and nobody nobody looks bloodied. Come on down to Brick's Smokehouse. We got troll, troll, troll. Well, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll move there. And then I am just going to, uh, since we do have one person that can't see very well, throw some dancing lights down down the hallway. Uh, would that kill your concentration on enlarge? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is a concentration spell, isn't it? Never mind. I, I appreciate you that. thinking about me, though, Foxes. Don't worry, my shoulder torches are still in effect. Okay, um, I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just, I, 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 I'm gonna hold, uh, hold action, uh, for, uh, okay. Gust Cantrip to push something away if it comes, if it comes, uh, in my line of sight. Okay. Um... So you didn't do anything to the troll still standing in front of. Oh wait, never mind. That's medium or smaller. So now I'm just I'm doing nothing. I'm I'm doing nothing. Okay. Because slashing is bad. <laughs> okay. Um. So after Voxus is Morty. I need, I need to grab a club or something as an off weapon. So so Morty, you know being the ever-present joy that he is right now. Yes. Um, is going to uh, attack this uh, the troll with Booming Blade. Okay. Just in case it tries to move again. Good call. So, oh, did it roll? Did it roll to attack? I did not roll attack. It did not roll to attack. It Ooh, hold on one second. cast the spell. Uh, right, right. Norm previously it rolled both. It yes. rolled to attack and then it rolled the thing. So here's the attack roll. Okay. Oh, oh wait, does he have advantage because the thing is still glowing? Yes, yes. You would still have advantage because it is glowing from the fairy fire. It did okay. not finish because it did not die. Though so, I don't think your second one's going to be much better. Though. Right, so it would have been a 12. I'm assuming that does not hit. A 12 does not hit. Um. I believe you still have a second attack because that would be your cantrip cast. Correct? Right. Yes, I can still attack one more time just with the rapier. Mm -hmm. So he will do that. Which it did the double thing again, so 14. Uh, 14 is a miss. As, okay. as, so, you, as you thrust with it, you do connect, but the point um, hits a boil that's just hard as a rock and does not pierce the the thickened hide of the troll yeah Mor morty is not one for combat he's just like he's angrily just swinging he's hoping <laughs> something connects it's a rapier and he's swinging it like a club like <laughs> he, he he's just he is so beyond enraged right now but as his bonus action he's gonna slam the thing back into him again okay so i need a deck saving throw from him please all right let's see Uh, it will fail. Sweet. So uh, that's going to be another 
two damage because it did the double thing. Hey, again. thank I, I you. Don't know cheers why it's for double thing. Cheers for fears gaming. Thank you very much for the follow. Uh, ten hit points. Uh, no, that two, two, two. Oh, it did, oh, it did double. double. It did the double thing again. Okay. Because you know. All right. D and D Beyond. He uh, D and D Beyond roll twenty. <laughs> he takes the the brunt of the hit. He is still standing, though you can clearly see the fear in his eyes as uh, death seems to be right upon him. So. Oh, yeah, uh, Morty is literally standing there. <laughs> Morty has never described himself as death. No, he's just. What there, have there, you guys <laughs> done? What has the party done to Morty? You broke him, guys. All right, Troll C. Death. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, I know my Morty impression is not great there. Okay. A troll comes rushing up and sees the fire, and you see him halter for a moment. Uh, as he seeing his comrade burnt and blistered, uh, he is going to try and bull rush his way through as well. Um, as I can't do this again. he rushes forward. So go ahead and give me an athletics check, Morty. Oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, okay. So, Troll C got a, um, 21. <laughs> so, he comes running through. He is going to bash into Brick and move through to here. He is going to knock his ally over. Oh my. Um, let me. And then Cloakie's just standing there. Okay. <laughs> Giant Cloakie just. Hey. So, <laughs> the troll that is on fire, or uh, on fire and illuminated from fairy fire, uh, goes prone. And the other troll makes his way through. That is all that one can do. As you see two more trolls from the back. Ah! Come into view. I believe you guys can see them now. Yes. Brick just barely, personally. Um, they are both going to huck stones down the hallway. Um, the one is going to huck at Brick. The one behind it, or wait, never mind. What am I doing? I just went out of a niche count. I'm so used to putting them on the same thing. <laughs> All right, so Troll E is going to move up and huck a stone. At Sorry. Brick. At brick. Uh, okay. At disadvantage for ranged. Um, so roll two dice, take the lower. It's not a 23 to ignore that. Uh, so yeah, he's going to miss because brick has like a 20 AC, uh, is five against range attacks. Yes, as the stone comes careening in and you easily uh, shuffle the cinder block sized stone to the side on the ground. Um, that is its go. It is then brick. All right. Um. Brick is just going to very casually just bring his hammer down and smash this one in the head. Okay. Okay. You have advantage not only because he's prone, but also because he is on fairy fire. That, that is, is a, a critical hit. <laughs> oh, 
alone when it has four hit points. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does this thing, do I need, even need to roll damage for this thing? Uh, your minimum dice would kill it. Um, okay. As you bring your warhammer down, you feel the sickening crunch of the skull underneath um, as it envelops your hammer. Uh, give me a strength check as you pull it out. Just a straight strength Just check? Just a straight strength check. 21. Okay. As you rip your hammer back up to ready yourself for a second uh, swing, uh, you notice that you have the, uh, the top knot area of the skull has come completely unhinged and torn away that you have the topmost portion of its head on the underside of your war hammer now Ew. as it slides down the the base of the hammer to create somewhat of a a weird pommel or a cross guard for your hand now i don't like that <laughs> i don't like it um, um so that one we are gonna move off the board is, is fairy fire still up? Uh, I believe when the target dies, it fades, doesn't it? No, it just, I think it just sits in an area, doesn't it? Hmm? No, it, it illuminates. It illuminates? It, it would illuminate him, but so it'd fall off. Okay. Well, I, I just, I'll uh, leave it there. He's just... The corpse is there. I don't know. Is it a concentration-based spell? Um, you know, technically it is, which I didn't realize when I cast it, so Pokey wouldn't have giant size anymore. Oh, Damn. okay. Which happened after, she hasn't done anything since then, so it works. Out. Well, we'll shuffle her there. Cloakie is still there. <laughs> the hammer has been bedazzled. <laughs> um, and then... Uh... Okay. Uh, for his second move, Brooks can just take a step over to the other troll. Okay. Bonus action at second level, Searing Smite. Okay. Uh, so let me just that Do you want... Evil. Yeah, it casts and it lasts a minute or until you hit, correct? Okay. Yeah, so in between, it's, yeah, in between attacks, I'll use it. Um, oh, crap. Let me just... Um, Okay. Uh, so then I will actually swing and see if I actually make it. Okay. Yes, that Wait, will sweet. hit. I'm uh, also going to drop the concentration since there's no point in keeping it on a dead target. So. Ooh, I just like flub that thing up real bad. Uh, so he's going to take, in total, 8 points of bludgeoning damage and 10 points of fire damage. 10 points of bludgeoning, 10 points of fire? 8, eight of bludgeoning, 10 of fire, so 18 total. Okay. As you sear his flesh, is there a saving throw involved, or is he just on fire? Um, let me... Look real quick. I think There's I so can... many smite spells, I get them confused at times, so yeah. I have to make sure. At the start of each of its turns, until the spell ends, the target must make a con save. On a failed save, it'll take an additional d6 fire damage. Okay. So I can keep concentrating on this and keep making him take fire damage. Okay. So it'll be at the beginning of its, of its next turn. So this is Troll C, right? Yes. Troll C, Troll E, Troll D. Okay. Uh, the is then Cloakie's turn. Is that whoop, whoop. Okay, okay. I'm gonna scooch over and throw some punches. Okay. Oh, 
we go. There we go. Okay, yep, both of those are going to hit. For four and eight. I may as well dump my bonus action into another punch. Okey cloaky. Okay. Just kidding. Just kidding. What are you talking about? Nate totally hits. What was that? What was that D4 for, Mr. GM, sir? Don't worry about it. I forgot how to roll in private. That's what it was for. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure was. Okay. Uh, did you have? Oh, your last hit missed. Okay. So then it would be Troll D. I can take Troll B off because he is dead now. Uh, Troll D. One, two, one, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it takes its full movement to get up to there. And that is all it can do is to rush down the hallway as you see another one of these large gray, mo gray skinned um, trollish figures with long blackish hair. Same thing with the top knot. Um, that is all he can do. It'd then be Voxus. Oh, 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 Yes, what? Does 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 he need to... Uh... Oh, yep, make your save. You are correct. You know, players... Uh, he it. got a 15, so he's only going to take half damage this time. Okay, so there's three. Okay. Fire's fire, man. It's fire. Okay, so my turn. Um, I'm going to move there. Oh, hey, look, there's another troll back there. Um, can can Morty interrupt to say one thing really quickly? Just, he wants to yell something at Voxus. It's up to the DM. I know, that's why I'm asking. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Can Morty interrupt uh, Voxus to yell something at him? Hmm... I'm not going to do it if you don't, if you want me to wait. I will be happy to do it and do it on my turn. I just wanted to ask. Uh, I think you would probably, because all this is in the same six seconds. So technically mm -hmm. you're still doing it at this moment. So six words, yes, I would allow. Make my fireball bigger. <laughs> Okay. Okay. You, you um, can thank Skills well, for that one, by the way. Okay. Well, uh, centered on the party, I am going to make a uh, 40 foot cube and only affecting the two trolls, and I'm going to cast slow on them. Okay. Remember. Have nothing to make your fireball big. <laughs> Enlarge. So, so Morty is that a mage that. Is not it a very. Object. It says an object. It, it's an large person oh, or reduced person. Yeah, yeah. It, it, well, it says creature or object, but. Eh. Oh. I'd allow it. <laughs> Let's do it. I I would allow that. That's a that's a valid point that technically is a magical object currently. <sighs> Fine. It, it's your that. it's your call though. It's your call entirely. Fine, I'll do it. it, it what okay. size is it normally? Uh, it is normally medium, so it would go to large. It is now a large rolling ball Jesus. of molten <laughs> molten fire and rock. Uh, since it doubles up, uh, Morty, we will say that the spell will do four die six now. Um, as this is a unique combo. 
and something for you guys to remember in the future. Does it do the extra 1d4 if he chucks it at someone then? I will let it do an extra die for bludgeoning when it when he rolls it into somebody. Okay. Um well, I guess that's my turn since I can't do anything with the bonus action. That's not a spell. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. Make, don't forget to make his graphic figure. Um, I think we lost half the party. No, I'm still here, but... Sorry, oh. my internet totally died on me. Okay, well... I'm getting so many echoes from you. And, and we're about to be stabbed by a, a chicken or something, it looks like. Well... My stabby chicken is now me. My camera's gone. <laughs> okay. Um, so. Wait, where's the stabby chicken? We will. It is then Mortithus. Okay. Mm. Well, well, uh, Morty, as I said, is is very very angry. And again, Skittles, thank you so much for that idea. Because when you said rage, the first thing I thought of was that. Um, okay. So now, uh, Morty has this uh, nice little buddy right in front of him. Um, he's going to also, just like he tried before, to do uh, Booming Blade. Okay. So here's his attack for it. Ooh, does a 20 hit? A 20 does hit. Yay! Awesome. So, Booming Blade. Hold on one second. Oh, where'd it go? There we go. Uh, they are having a little bit of technical difficulty. As soon as Brick is back on, Morty's screen will pop back up. So, Booming Blade, let's see. It only... Yeah, it only does the damage if it moves. But, that's fine. Let's just... Uh... Ooh, there's 11 piercing damage. Ooh, nice. He gonna do it again. Well, he's gonna... He's going to attack with his rapier again. Okay. So. Does a 23 hit? Oh, wait. A 20 oh, hit. That, so that's, a that's a well. critical. Yes. No, uh, it's not. Oh no, my. it's not. It, it did the double thing again. We, we can still hear you, Brick, just so you know. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Um, so. so 23, eight points. I was yep, excited. I was excited for I, the me crit. Me too. Me too. However, this is going to be fun. His bonus action, he's going to slam the fireball into this dude. Okay. Uh, so go ahead and roll your four die six plus one die four damage. So he will four die make six. the saving throw. And one die four. He fails it. So he takes 16 points of damage. Mm-hmm. As it crashes into the troll and you hear the screeching uh, and sizzling of the greasy flesh. All yeah. right. Yeah. Um, anything else? There's Brick. We have Brick's beautiful face back, everyone. And mine. <laughs> And Morty's. It's the beard. The beard does it for Morty. It's it's my my most beautiful thing about me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so I'm we so depressed. are then on Troll C. Uh, was this was this the troll that I happened to a uh, smack <laughs> earlier? Yes, it is. So he needs cool. a Constitution saving throw, correct? Yeah, it's probably gonna succeed because I think the trolls are super have super high constitution. They do. He rolls a sixteen. That's should be good enough, right? Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Um. Yeah. All that happens is the spell ends. I don't roll anything. He just he's not on fire anymore. Okay. For the moment. Um. So with that, this troll is going to. Brick, how heavy are you? Uh, I'm pretty hefty. Yeah. He's going to... Hold on, let me... Ch I'm need a... So, he is going to grab Cloaky. <gasps> no! Cloaky, I need a... Athletics. 
or acrobatics check to resist him grappling you. That's that's a pretty good athletics check. That was a 19. That was a okay. natural 19. As he goes to grab you, he grabs you by the waist and you're just so ad adept that you easily jump up through his hands, land on his arms for a moment and then springboard to the side as he does not manage to grab you as I have to see those of you who can see into room four, you can see a large pit um, over there. I don't like and that. after he tries to grab Cloaky, you can now assume what that pit is for. So that is his go because that is all he gets to do. Uh, Troll E is going to lob a rock at Morty. Oh no! Not close enough. Um, but I think a Morty's not four, even worried. Yeah, a fourteen is not going to hit Morty, as nope. basically a cinder block flies past your head. Um, Morty's just Morty's just staring. You're next! Just... <laughs> Foaming at the mouth. Morty from now on will be known as a boogeyman amongst troll children. <laughs> um... Um, so point of reference, Roy. Yes. Just just in case you wonder in the future, uh, Brick's normally three hundred and twenty five pounds. Okay. Uh, so he's well over like nearly five hundred pounds with all the uh, equipment with yeah. all the stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is then Cloaky. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I can do some more punching and hope not to get thrown in a pit. That's true. Ooh. Okay. Is it just oh there it goes. That first one it's is a hit. Really slow. <laughs> That's fine. That's the conversion Ooh. from beyond twenty. Uh the extension we use lets us uh port our character rolls directly into the roll twenty, which is what we are using for our maps. <laughs> okay, um, and then I'll use my bonus action to okay. four punch one points. More time. Twelve will miss. That's my turn. Okay. Um, it is then Troll D. Troll D, um, being slightly on fire at this point, uh, and seeing that you are the one that controls the the giant ball of fire, uh, you see him sneer as he turns towards you and unleashes his full barrage of attacks. So two claws and a bite. Oh no! On Morty. So we'll start with the claws. Uh, hitting a 23 on one claw. Or... Um, he's going to... He's then going to cast shield. As his reaction. Okay. Which sets you to what? Uh, that would be 24. Okay. Which lasts the entire turn, so... Yep. Um, on his bite, he will miss as well. As the claw swings in, just as uh, in the flash of a moment, you flick of your wrist, you create an ethereal shield that his arm slams into and bounces right off. Um, so that was them. It is top of the niche. He did not move? He didn't move, no. 
He can't move, really. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of pinned in there right now. So, deck saving throw? Yes. Uh, he rolled a five. Burning. All right, Go. so he gets the full 4d4. Uh, four 4 dice 6. Or 4d6, I'm sorry. Yep. No die 4, though. That's right. There you go, wow. 16 damage. Okay. We're going big brain here tonight, big brain. As he continues <laughs> to sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Morty. There's a burning flame. <laughs> okay. So... They make the trolls run away. Well, no, they can't. If, if he does, he takes damage. He go boom. Go boom. He go boom. I lost my page. One second. Sometimes uh, this whole thing is really weird to navigate. Okay. There you go. You got a better line. It makes trolls scream in pain. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Where is it? Oh, no. I think we're enjoying this far too much. <laughs> Can I just say I absolutely love that I have a uh, flaming sphere that is now large. Like that, that just. Were he so angry? <laughs> this is my favorite version of Morty. Okay. Uh, so you haven't even seen my final form. <laughs> that was. It's and it then goes up to Voxus Farad, our resident bard. That is useless because of slashing weapons. Um, Very useful to me. I'm just. Uh... I mean, slashing weapons still deal damage. You just yeah, saw that if the... you do it, you cut off yeah, limbs and. Uh, it creates it creates um, amalgam that we don't need to be dealing with. Yeah. After the last but fight, large, but there's a large fireball right there. <laughs> That's true. Um, eat, Come no on, one buddy. looks bloody, and uh, not, not including the troll, including the trolls. Uh, the trolls. The one in front of Morty is now bloodied. Okay. Uh, I. I can't do anything else. I guess I'm going to throw a vial of acid at him. <gasps> oh yeah, here we go. Time for the Molotovs. Okay. Let's see if it hits. Nope, that's a one. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's that's no boy no. Okay, so I'm trying to move something real quick. All right. I don't like that you're trying to move something we can't see. <laughs> that was a little bit concerting. All right. Why um, so last, time, just last, time, last time it was the purple war. <laughs> so yeah, we're just sitting there fighting some hook wars. Next thing you know, Nat twenty on that. Go ahead down. and roll me a. Die six. Real quick, Voxus. Can he refuse? No. <laughs> five. One, two, three, five. Now roll me a die ten. Or in this, you can roll a die nine. So roll a die nine. Okay, so your acid, as you go to whip it, flings this way and splashes all over that area. I, I see nothing if you pinged. 
Yeah, can you think again for us, uh, Mr. DM, sir? Is that... Why is my mouse... I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's because I'm on the GM layer right now. Oh, right there. Okay, so it did nothing then. It did nothing. Uh, I do roll uh, on ones. If you roll a one on a grenade weapon, there's a chance that you fling it in a random direction because it does create splash damage that you could still have a negative effect. Here's the thing, though. If the trolls run through there, they step in acid. Uh, it dissolves after a round. Oh, yeah, what the hell? It, it goes out pretty quick. So, uh, is there anything so else you would it. like to do? Nope. Okay. Uh, it is then Morty's turn. Morty is... Yeah, he's going to do the same thing he's been doing. He's just going to booming blade stabby stab. Um, so, first attack. Okay. With the, with the booming blade. That's not going to hit. Boo. So, Booming Blade isn't going to do anything. Second attack. That's probably not going to hit. And he's going to slam the uh, the big old fireball into uh, Biggin over here. Okay. So, 4d6. And save. Plus d4. Wow. Damage on that right now is pretty good. Uh, he fails, so he takes the full 22. Okay. He is still up, but you can tell from the constant bashing that uh, his leg and his right side, um, you can definitely tell it's mangled and broken, uh, along with the scorched and seared and uh, sizzling flesh that he has oh and he, just to be on the safe side um i'm just moving this right here to slam it into him okay okay it is then and yeah that's that he's done okay it is then troll c um at that he is going since you proved rather adept at dodging away um He's going to take all three swings on Cloaky, seeing how heavily armored Brick is. Hit me, you coward! Um, so he will attack two claws and a bite. Um, he'll hit a 24 with a claw and a 21 with the bite. Ow. Dealing How's... 16 points. How's Cloaky okay, okay. looking? Fine. Uh, Is she bloodied? Nope. This I'm one, fine. you this turn, you see this one. Some of his wounds start to close. The one Cloaky and I are engaged with. Yes, as he did not take fire damage last round. Well, damn it. Um, it is then. Which one was which one was it atta was attacking? Was it this one right here or this one right here? The second one, second one that you highlighted. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll go with Troll E, which is the one that has the fire on him at this point. He is going to try and push past the two of you. Um, so, if you want, since he is trying to push past in between the both of you to get past... Either one of you can roll the athletics. Uh, whoever does it has advantage because effectively you're both trying to push him back. Would you like me to roll it, Morty? Yeah. Is that a... <laughs> okay. Okay. So go ahead and roll your athletics check. That is a 25. So he tries to push past both of you. And uh, the two of you combined, Brick, you hold up your shield and you just hold him in place as Morty, you are pretty much uh, swaying the, the rage. just screaming at him. <laughs> Full on intimidation, just screaming at him. Okay, okay. 
Uh, yes, he is very intimidated right now because he has a ball of fire at his back and he has nowhere to go. Um, did that did that end his movement? That ended his <laughs> movement. Yes. God, it's like wrist extending. So <laughs> he will. Uh, he is only going to throw a bite at Morty because he used his claws to try and push through. That's fair. Okay. That's fair. Uh, and he but, would but, hit but he, a nine. Yeah, that's not going to hit me. But he did end his movement, so... Um. Yes. Uh, so you can go ahead and roll damage. I can guarantee... Oh. Even mm. if he makes that save, he's dead. Oh. And he made the save, but he... Um, Only seven damage. Yeah, he's really I hurt. mean, that fire's been brutal. It's been, so, it's been five turns so far. Okay. So he uh, crumples under the weight of the stone. And uh, the flames that are searing his back as he falls to the ground. And just the rancid smell of burning flesh at this point is getting really strong in this tunnel. Uh, it is then Brick. Yes. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay, how's the fellow in front of me looking? Uh, the fellow in front of you is not bloodied. He does still appear to have some damage on him. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. 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 Um, Brick is going to uh, bonus action at second level uh, uh, searing smite once again. And then I'm going to swing and see what happens. Actually, hold on. Can I... I don't want this guy getting away. Can I circle around this gentleman to about here? going the long way around you would have to go up and around past cloaky and everything but yes okay. as long as you do not leave his threatened area uh you would be able to get over there because yeah, there, it is a up. wide enough gap yeah uh and then yeah then boom with the hammer strike so i'm gonna hit 23 because i do have that plus two because of flanking uh yes yes you would definitely hit with the hammer um and then i'm going to i'm going to burn a my last first level spell slot to also dump a level one divine smite into that okay so i'll be 3d8 plus 2d6 oh crap Ugh, okay sorry and then another d6. So let me just do my math real quick. 7, uh, 12, 23, 27, plus 5 is 32. 32 points. Okay. As you call upon your uh, divine energy to fill your hammer as it <laughs> blazes to life with radiant energy, uh, you bring it squarely be between its shoulder blades and you feel uh, the cracking of a couple vertebrae as... Uh, the radiant energy as well uh, bubbles the skin beneath the blow um, as you bloody it. And then I'm going to do my second attack. Uh, 20, dirty 20. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to pour my last second level spell slot into that to do 4d8 total. Okay. Plus five, so fifteen. Oh, that was a week. That was a week. Oh no. Okay. So that's with the smite added for the total damage, correct? Yeah, so fifteen damage total from that second one. That was disappointing. <laughs> oh I think I just took that off your total. What? You're at 57 hit points, right? Uh, yeah. I have, yeah. I have, Brick has not been touched once. 
And as, as Brick kind of circles around and smashes this guy in the back twice, he goes, face me, coward. Okay. Um... Eight fifty. All right. Um. So after Brick is Cloaky. Wow, well, come on. Okie dokie. I guess I'm feeling more punching because it's all I do. You got a plus two on top of your normal stuff because we're planking now. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's a hit. That's a whack him. That's a hit. Sweetie, sweetie. 14. Uh, those two blows. Your first one, you hit him in the gut and he kind of hunkers over as you bring your second one in. Uh, and you punch him right, which would be the side of his head. But you kind of miss slightly as you sink your fist into his eye socket. Why do I take things eyeballs out? <laughs> as a uh, as it like convulses for a second and then drops to the ground. <laughs> Brick standing behind her. Okay. Um. So, you still have your movement and bonus action. Grab his cloaky. Yeah, I don't really want him. I mean, that's going to be a one that's far away. Um, so instead, what I'm going to do is take out my acid. Can I just, like, pour it on it? It's fully dead. Like, uh, yeah, you could. As your free item interaction, you could definitely pull it out and pour it on it. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, that is good enough that uh, you pour it directly into the eye socket. And, uh, yeah, it sizzles its brain as it ceases to twitch. That's great. That's, that's great. Pour one out for a real one. <laughs> Um, okay. So, after Cloaky, it is Troll D, um, who, in a rush, is going to try and blow past the boulder and the party. He will... You can either make the attempt to try and stop him or let him move through and take attacks of opportunity. As at this point, he seems ready to flee. I mean, there's probably no chance that Morty's going to be able to stop him. But I have a feeling that Morty is just so angry at the moment, he's still going to try. Okay. Um, is no, there Morty. any... It, just because I want to see if it works, instead of athletics, is there any chance that he could use intimidation? Keep in mind, it's the same... It, it's going to be the same role either way. I just want him to be, like, so angry and having this giant, massive ball of fire that he's been, like, melting these guys with. That he mm. just steps in front of it and just screams in, like, in just rage. Okay. I will let you do that versus his athletics. Okay. Um, it's going to be the same role either way. Yes, I'm just letting at, you know. At this point, it is sheer panic in his eyes as he just watched your group melt four trolls. Um, he is going to try and bull rush his way through. If you manage to beat him... He will definitely flee back into his room. I don't expect this, but here we go. Oh. Okay. 
Uh, as he nat 20s both rolls. Damn it. For a 24 and a 24. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good ro roll. That uh, as he comes barreling through, uh, Voxus and Cloaky, you can choose to take attacks of opportunity if you wish. As he is going to basically full book it. And it looks like he's uh running towards the um number two up here if you can see it so voxus that'll miss cloaky that'll hit for seven and this one has taken no damage um so he will end his movement there um, we will then go to the bottom of the niche, um, as out of the shadows, you see a grotesque monstrosity approaching as you see the other troll stop in its footsteps and Cloaky from the, you hear it go, ah, chieftain. <laughs> Uh, as all of you can see this amalgamation figure, I will blow it up for you guys. A troll with multiple heads, multiple arms, um, and what looks to be mouths on its stomach and chest. <laughs> That's a cute. Wonder thing. if he's got a date to the prom. Yes, Jessica on his right shoulder. <laughs> Why can I not shrink it? But with that, Giggity. um, since I have a meeting that starts at, oh, I hate this. Sometimes this just does not want to click stuff. Um. Since I have a meeting at 9.30, we are going to end the session here. Next Aww, time we pick up, that. we you will start your confrontation with the top-knot chieftain. Uh, okay. Um, so, remember your initiatives. Uh, well, we don't have to remember them. The turn order's right there. I won't change it. Oh. And, uh... I was gonna say good, because I can't see mine. Morty, make... <laughs> Morty, make a note of how many rounds left of the enlarged fireball you have left. Uh, it's Vox. only got four left. So oh, Vo sorry. No, it has three left now, because that last turn. Okay. Um, so, after it approaches, everyone, uh can see the gibbering of mouths oh no as it you hear a cacophony of giant just echoing from it so with that we will leave off for the night i appreciate everyone in chat stopping by uh i want to give a shout out to cheers for fears gaming thank you for the follow quit the build thank you for the follow uh, my mouse is going crazy again. Uh, Sithis Skittles, thank you for the follow. Uh, Kazi Plays, thank you for the follow. We had a lot of uh, people join us tonight. I can't say thank you enough. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like the content on here, we upload our sessions to the YouTube channel as well. It's um, that way down the line. Uh, it's at Intrepid DM on Twitter and at uh, the Intrepid DM on YouTube. Um, I also want to give a shout out to the Facebook group, The Tavern. They are a great welcoming society for everyone. And uh, I think you'd have a lot of fun if you joined. Um, as always, thank you to my players, Morty, Voxus, Brick, Cloaky. It's a pleasure as always to run for all of you. And uh, yeah, 
I will be up next on another podcast. If you check out TMA Games on here, you'll find us talking about the Fat W's Falcon and the Winter Soldier tonight on Marvel <laughs> Cannon Madness. So uh, I only have one thing left to say to all of you. That's cheers, be intrepid, and carry on, friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great, great night. Hi. Hi, everybody. It's going to be so scary.